All righty, we've got starters on the lines for the college bracket final. Look at that addition right there in the top left corner. Head ref Sean Fitzpatrick. Looks like dodgeball control. We'll start with UVA. Quick start on the quad ball. We're getting a delayed penalty on that piece there. Uh, it looks like we're going to get a yellow card coming right out of the gate on the UVA keeper. Everyone is remounting. Yellow card, one minute in the box for UVA. VRU with the quad ball at the top of the key. Looked like a potential back contact. Ugh. UVA trying to run it quick, not able to avoid that beat. That was a good call by the head ref to call just a back to hoops as opposed to another foul there and allow play to continue for all teams. So UVA with a player in the box, missed beat up top, which means they're working against no dodge balls. UVA looking potentially to run it with nobody. No dodge balls. A bad pass by Hannah Rollins or by Hannah Rollins' sister. Apologies. I played with Hannah. So Hannah, if you're on the live stream, shout out to you. Um, Emma just not able to get the pass over. Uh, to the open keeper making a run. So no goals scored. Uh, penalty time just elapsed. So UVA's chaser is back in. We are at full strength. VRU pushing it up at the top of the key. Not able to turn the corner. Beat attempt. That'll be a reset use for VRU as we... All around, lots of plays, lots of movement, especially off quad ball. See what the actual call. It'll be no card shown, but UVA with the quad ball at the top and a beater able to try and clear some folks out of the way. Drives. That is a Siddiqui goal for Zan and a stoppage of play just for the ball rolling all the way. So it is 10-0 UVA to start. Alrighty, we are remounted. Keeper making the ball live, 10 0. High beater play by UVA. Just VRU not able to keep up with that. A quick bad pass leads to an easy pickup for UVA on the turnover. Pass across. Again, UVA trying some very long passes that are just not making it work. But UVA keeper able to strip on that and pick possession back up. There is no beaters in play. Another pass across, just not able to get it to where it needs to go. Some missed opportunities really early here for UVA, leading to a turnover and a missed shot by VRU. No, a good goal by VRU on a quick fast break transition, even against beaters. So we are at 10-10, about two and a half minutes into gameplay, and a stoppage of play. I think we are going to review that. Um, so as it stands right now, it was a good goal, which makes it 10-10. Confirmed that is going to be a good goal. The quad ball will come back to the keeper on the UVA side to make it live, and we will restart play in just a moment. Play resumes on my whistle! UVA bringing it on the far side, closest to the middle hoop. Pass off to Siddiqui. Puts it through on a nice pass. It is 2010 UVA. That got some enthusiasm from the fans here, too, for some smooth passing. Lots of cheers. Definitely a UVA heavy crowd today. <laughs> Virginia Reunited trying to get it around. Great tackle. We're going to get a delayed call. I'm not here to make any decisions, but uh, that one looked a little questionable over here. But we're going to get a yellow card. Oh, 
Good job, Em. You can hear, if, if the microphone picks it up, the the coach for UVA, David Littleton, very adamant that that was not initiated from behind. Nonetheless, it is going to be a yellow card on UVA. That's their second yellow card of the game. But first on this individual player, remember, three yellows leads to a red card suspension. UVA beater play, definitely the more aggressive option. They are able to clear it out again. Despite down a chaser, they are able to take that opportunity, go up 30-10 on some buttery passing. UVA. There was just some play after the uh, chaser number 17 didn't realize they had been beat by their opponent. Uh, so it just results in a quad ball turnover. UVA, again, pressing high. Great play by the beaters, if you're able to pick that up. Number 99 with a great catch. So against no bludgers, UVA runs it through, puts it into the middle hoop. It is 40 to 10. And Again, UVA against no dodgeballs, able to push, but we're going to get a delayed call. So we're going to pick up a yellow card, number 11. I, I don't recall who the first card was, uh, so I'm not sure if that's that player's second yellow right now. Uh, but the call is initiating contact from behind there, uh, trying to strip the ball. So Virginia reunited with the quad ball. Yellow card, player in the box for UVA. But again, the beater and the chaser is pressing high, able to push, leads to another turnover. Great beat attempt, still down a player. 77 for UVA, another goal, pushing them up 50 to 10. But we have some ARs with a call on the side. Alrighty, so we're here. It was a question on if it was a face beat. From here, it looked certainly uh, that... Uh, there was some potential contact there. We're going to get another call. It's like we're having some additional deliberations. Um, I believe the sound was muted for that, but there were unsportsmanlike conduct penalties issued after the original one, so there'll be more players in the box. Oh, Virginia number seven with a red card for accumulation. Three yellows equals a red, and it looks like that unsportsmanlike put him over the top. Now, that shouldn't have any implications for future games were there to be any, although this is college bracket final. So it's time for everybody to uh, go 100%, but sometimes 100% is a little too much, it seems. VRU bringing it up. It's like a pass off to the left. Going to try to advance down the field, still being blocked by the chaser. Goes to the pass to the right, pass back to the middle. Shot is no good, low, but recovered, and then swatted. Oh, that, that will, yes. Making a kicking attempt. He pulled his foot back, but making a kicking attempt on a player going down, that is always going to be a yellow card. So VRU will extend this stoppage by calling a timeout, getting some time to regroup here, just over five minutes into the game. Virginia with that extremely high beater press, VRU was able to have their last drive, probably the first one in a long time without it, thanks to all the players down. So now Virginia bringing the ball up, looking to extend that lead. Chaser taking your time. Goes to pass to the back. Call clear. No beat. So that, no beat on the initial throw. That will be a good goal for Virginia. 60-10. Beater coming up with that aggressive pressure once again. Pass intercepted by the keeper, who's then beat. Beats all over the place, but Virginia with the ball driving in to the right hoop, and that is another goal. Okay. 
So VRU advancing up the field again. Chaser close contact with the beater, looking to get around that tough high pressure. Passing the ball again, that swing pass will go way too far. Virginia will actually take it inbounds as it went over the hard boundary. So Virginia advancing again, taking their time, just doing a leisurely stroll up the field. And that's a Virginia player released from the penalty box. Virginia keeper right outside the zone, passing it off again. Pass to the back, and that will bounce off the bottom of the hoop and in another 10 points. First chasers beat out with the second one, aggressive before also being beat. Pass to the right is picked up right away. And looks like we have a stoppage. Let's see what for. Looks like there's a potential face beat, but um, determined not to be. So no, no penalty there, just a stoppage. Remount, and they continue. So Virginia picking up the ball after those beats. Moving up with a little more pace now. Driving around the right to the back. Not sure if that was a shot, but it didn't go in. Keeper's there to pick it up, though. Keeper driving into that right hoop that they like to target so often, and that's another 10 points. 90-10 it currently sits. See what VRU is able to do now, given that they already used their timeout. Virginia seems content to let this game continue the way it's been going. VRU really having no answer for this hyper-aggressive defense. Stoppage looks like that might be initiating contact from behind. Oh, two cards on the play. Definitely a card heavy game. But good to see that the rules are being followed, especially contact penalties. So they'll pass back up. Keeper will take it. That beat missed, but he dished the ball. Some trouble picking it up, but that goes in. And that will be another VRU score. 90-20. Taking advantage of the power play. Beater taking care of business right in front of the hoops, making the way for their chasers. Keeper will pick that ball off the ground, driving around the left side. Looks like they're calling a delayed penalty on that contact. Not that it was going to stop him. So 85 red gets a yellow for neck contact. That is, of course, negated by the goal that was just scored that brought Virginia to 100 points. So 120, as VRU will restart with that ball placed on their hoops. And now the Virginia chaser is released as well. So both teams back to full strength. VRU looking for any way in. Contact right at the midline. Passing it off. Pass back is swatted. Looks like he tried to pass it forward to himself. 
wasn't able to continue, but picked it up, passes it back. There's a scrum on the ground. VRU picks it up, but is immediately beat. Virginia will pick that up, dodge the ball, and go to that right hoop again. So no fouls there. Virginia looking to drive in again, right past the defender, and delivers a quad ball straight to the chest of 91 on the other side of that hoop. Another 10 points. And even make it to the midline before being tackled this time. That desperation pass is picked off again. But not cleanly. And now, wow. More aggressive beating. Gets the ball right behind the opponent's hoops. And another 10 for Virginia. 130 to 20. Just over 11 minutes. Got a lot more game. Before we get to the flag runner, Virginia is certainly content to keep running the score up as they have so far. Excellent pass to the back, but the shot is blocked over. VRU with the rebound, passing it back up. It'll be a reset across one line. Able to pick it up before it becomes a turnover. Huge pass, not picked up cleanly, but he does get to it eventually. Shot is swatted down easily by Virginia's keeper. And they'll start yet another offense. Virginia shot is blocked away from the middle hoop. VRU will take that with that rebound. Virginia beat her with the steal. That pass will fly safely out of bounds. Will be Virginia's ball to inbound. That. Yes, I'm not sure the VRU keeper took possession of that ball after uh, Virginia's most recent goal. <laughs> Nevertheless, Virginia will start with it. Keeper taking his time before going for the drive. Passing it over to a chaser in the middle of the field. Long pass to the chaser going behind the hoops. Continuing that around just like they're doing passing drills. That goal that will not be a goal underneath. But Virginia will nevertheless pick up the rebound. And that time it will go in. The easy shot. Point. 
Long shot is just slightly too low, bouncing off the pole. Looks like a scrum for the ball behind the hoops, but VRU will be beat out. VRU did manage to maintain dodgeball control after that play, at least. Looking to see if they can be a bigger factor in the defense. Virginia passing their way around, staying away from the beaters. Ex excellent beat will lead to a turnover as Virginia player took took the time dropping the ball. So VRU is a successful defense. Number five, VRU looking to drive in, passes to the side, 88. Excellent positioning for 10 points there. So as we get to the 15 minute mark, score is 150 to 30. Virginia absolutely content to keep this pace. Quick pass to the back, but that player will be beat. Turn over to VRU. VRU again with dodgeball control. Virginia will waste no time trying to disrupt that, though. VRU with a pass to 88 again, but that shot will not be good. VRU with a quick pass. Lots of rebounds, but the beater is never far away. Virginia Keeper advances up the field with some pace. Gets past one defender and goes to his favorite hoop for another 10 points. Just a quick stoppage, it appears, because the ball went all the way to the fence again. A long shot is good. Another 10 points for VRU. Looking to cut that deficit however they can. And pass to the back will lead to a shot that's just high. I go over the midline for a reset, but Virginia's there to pick up the rebound again. Virginia also obtained dodgeball control. They're not shy about bringing both beaters up. So that pass will result in a rebound and control by BRU. One more goal. Goal. Here, you players ducking dodgeballs left and right, and that will be good for another 10 points. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
just past 19 minutes. We're coming up on the stoppage. BRU with a breakaway. Getting all the way down the pitch for a quick 10 points. Looks like it was determined that player was beat. So the goal will not count. It'll be a turnover to Virginia as we restart. Less than a minute left as we head towards the stoppage. Let's see what the teams do here, trying to obviously score points, but also make sure they're positioned well for the flag runner about to make their entrance. Pass to the back keeper, looking for the shot. We'll get it. 170 50 to score. As we have 15 seconds left. Virginia with dodgeball control. VRU with the quad ball. Last possession has been called. That pass will, will be stopped will not be stopped. So that will be the intermission now. 170 to 50. Set score 230 points. Players rebound. Play resumes to my whistle. Yeah. Right, it looks like our flag runner for this game is Christian Barnes. Let's see what kind of fight gets put up here. Seekers are released, and they're ready to go. Virginia trying to make the first move, the attempt. VRU's Seeker being beat immediately. Quad ball will go all the way past the boundary on the VRU side, so VRU will inbound. Oh. Near miss for the Virginia Seeker. As that quad ball is immediately intercepted by Virginia and dropped through for another 10 points. Yeah, that's Christian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Thanks. Come on, VRU, get this snake. Come on, get the snake. will go for the long pass, but the chaser dropped their broom. So Virginia will advance the ball up again. Quick pass to the chaser was waiting. Another 10 points. A fight going on in the center of the pitch. As both teams try to get those 35 points. Both seekers fighting as Virginia takes the ball over. Fast break for another 10 points. And this game is now in catch range for them. A Virginia catch will end the game. VRU stops for a moment, so their seeker can't look at it. Keeper, rather, can tie the shoes. Got 
Virginia, again, with the incredibly aggressive beating. There you will just toss that ball over. It'll easily be picked up by Virginia's chaser. Chaser dropping it to the keeper, advancing up the middle. Quick pass to the left. Pass around the side. Got multiple options. Goes to the back. Back towards the hoops again. That will not go through. VRU will pick it up and look to run with it. Engaged by the keeper, but it's not enough to stop him from putting it through. That'll be 10 points, VRU. 200 to 60. VRU. VRU Seeker not able to stay away from the beater. As Virginia will now get an unopposed shot at Christian Barnes. Virginia moving the ball around. Looking to score those final goals. Again. Player in position for the easy drop in for 10. That's 20 points. Until set score. VRU's pass is intercepted again thanks to chasers and beaters working together to make another easy stop. Oh, VRU had a good attempt. Could not make the catch, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Three throws in easy. Yeah, no good. No good on that shot, but Virginia will get the rebound. Another shot also does not go through. But they've not lost the ball yet. Excellent tackle taken to the ground. Obviously, the player thought. It was an excellent tackle. It certainly looked good, but if it was initiated from behind, not going to be legal. The shot is knocked away by VRU's chaser. Picked up again by Virginia's keeper. Looks to move it around to the left. Gets it back, waiting just outside the keeper zone. Jukes drives in, goes around. I love a breakdown of the points by hoop. Virginia really loves going to the medium hoop on the right side. And whichever hoop they score on next time, that will be all it takes. We are at game point now. The OU's pass will go out of bounds, be inbounded by Virginia. Go, go, Come on, VRU. Give me that. Passing that ball around. Knowing all they need is that final goal. Shot on the middle hoop is blocked away, but picked up. Blocked again. Oh, the ball going back over the keeper line counts as an illegal reset after they had advanced it out. So that's an immediate turnover. And with all those beats from Virginia, there's not going to be a lot standing in between her and a goal here. We'll see. Virginia will run it back to regroup, knowing there's no need to rush. Going all out with the beater play. Pass in. He'll juke around. And that is it. 230 has been reached for our final score 
of Virginia QC 230, VRU 60. We'll have to check what this means for the bid allocation later in the day, but that that should be a ticket punched. D1 for Virginia after several well-played games.